Hey, hey, what's up, what's up? This is your boy, PK, Professor Ken, a.k.a. Pimpin' Ken. Once again, I am your host with the most, you know what I'm saying, from all coasts. Look here, today's lesson is called self-confidence. That's right, you are back in Professor Ken's Secrets to Success. But before I continue, let me offer you a chance to log on right now to go over to hiphoppk.com, order my book, Order my classes, Game College, for $14.95. Here you will receive all my information. You receive all my classes. You also become a member of Game College. And this is only $14.95. So before I go to that, I'm gonna, now I want to go into my lesson. Today's lesson is self-confidence. Self-confidence is when one truly believes in him or herself. In order to achieve anything in life, to reach Great accomplishments, you must definitely have self-control. Self-control and self-confidence is all a state of mind. If you believe that you can make the shot, then you can make the shot. That's confidence. If you don't believe or you have doubt that you can't make the shot, then that's lack of self-confidence. It's an old saying, always believe your beliefs and never believe your doubts. Never doubt your beliefs and never believe your doubts. That's a good statement because what that does is that gives you unequivocal self-confidence in order to achieve anything in life, to reach any major accomplishment. You first of all must believe and know that you can achieve these things. And there is only one way for you to believe this and to achieve this, and that is through self-confidence. Many years ago, I read a book called The Circle Seven. And in this book, it talks about the higher self and the lower self. The higher self are the mothers of the virtues and the harmonies of life and breeds justice, mercy, love, and right. The, low, the lower self is what the higher self is not. And it breeds hatred, slander, lewdness, murder, death, and everything that harm. And that's the dual self of man. Man have a lower self, which lacks self-confidence, which lack endurance, was lack persistence, imagination, all the things that we talked about, leadership, and then man has a higher self that is high in all of these qualities. See, when you understand the higher self and the lower self, when you understand self, period, then you understand how to accomplish or how to instill self-confidence within yourself. Now, there are other chapters that I will talk about or that I will expound on later, like auto-suggestion and sexual transmutation and so on and so forth, that would help you get to this level of confidence a lot quicker. But right now, I want to deal with the self. We all know, we all know that many of our ancient uh, teachers have taught us in the past that self-preservation is the first law of nature. Self-preservation is the first law of nature. If you are in the jungle somewhere and you had two or three people in that jungle with you, the only thing you can think about is survival. And in the process of you thinking about that survival, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to quickly acquire self-confidence because you're going to need confidence to, in order to survive. And that's why it says the first law of nature is self-preservation. You're going to preserve yourself. So when you're out in business or when you're out in the music world, when you're out in the film world, you're taking care of things in life and period in general. If you're just in the streets, then one thing that you got to have is you got to have self-confidence. You can't go into a project or into a thing without self-confidence, without total belief in yourself, knowing that you're going to accomplish every mission that you set forth. Now, one of the things that we have to do to acquire self-confidence is we must have mind control. you got to have mind control. Mind control is very essential in one acquiring self-confidence. Why? Because your mind is the very thing that controls every aspect of your body. When you were young and you was a baby, you didn't just learn how to walk. You had to mentally program yourself on how to walk, how to take a step. Once you program it in your mind, then you were able to take those steps. Now we don't count our steps. Now we don't act like we're about to fall. We eat without thinking about how we're going to eat because we program it in our mind. And once you learn how to control your mind, then you will learn how to control those thoughts. 
that makes you lack self-confidence. You know, when things say, when you say, I can't do it, that's a negative connotation. That's a negative aspect of low self-esteem and low self-confidence. But when you program yourself and you got mind control, you realize that automatically say, I can do this. I can accomplish this. And because you have mind control and because you have programmed your mind to do these things and to achieve these things, that's going to instill you with more self-confidence. It's going to give you more power and more determination and more willpower to accomplish whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Because now you have self-confidence based on mind control. You're controlling your thoughts. You're controlling what you believe that you could do versus what you believe. Is. So, you, so it's the I can't and I can theory. You're saying that I can and, and controlling the I can and, and can also controlling the I can't. And not letting the I can't control the I can. So that's very important. Mind control is very important. And you must understand yourself. Even the Egyptian says, man, know thyself. It's also a book I read in the book. It says, a man thinketh, so is he. You know, so thoughts and self are very synonymous. You got to think in terms of one ancient forefathers. You got to understand the root of who you are and the root from where you came from. Studying your history will help you get more self-confidence. Studying whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, whatever business endeavor, whether it's music industry, whether it's the business industry, studying that business or that music will give you more power and give you more self-confidence because you will know more about a subject or a particular thing. Therefore, you will not go into this subject or the thing blindfully. You know, to give you an example, when you look at Kobe Bryant on the basketball court, the first thing you say is when he go up and then he duck and he switch hands and then he lay the ball up, you say, man, I don't think he's going to make that shot. But he wouldn't have went through all of those motions if he didn't think that he could make it. Because Kobe Bryant has mind control and he don't let his I can't control his I can. He are able to make the difficult shots that we think that are impossible because he got self-confidence and he believe in himself and he believe in what he's doing. That's just how I am. I believe in what I'm doing. People talk about me all the time. They say, this ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. But I don't give a damn what people say. I don't care what they think. I got confidence in myself. I know when I told people that I was going to do the secret success, people said, don't do it. I said, I'm going to do it. And it's going to work. And when you look at the likes and, and you look at the comments that people are saying about this secrets to success, these things that we are doing, you know, on this Internet, you know, trying to instill in people, you know, uh, good principles and things that they need to know. We, you find nothing but positivity because I got confidence. Like Kobe got confidence when he make that shot. When Michael Jordan get the ball and the buzz is, is three seconds left, and he said, give me the ball. He do this. He get the ball. All net. That's nothing but pure confidence. And it's all in the mind. Let me tell you how powerful the mind is. Let me give you an example. It was three wise men. And they was trying to figure out what to do with the mind of man. One of the wise men say, let's put the, the mind of man in the ocean. And one of the men said, no, 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 man would become wise. And one day he would build submarines and he would find it in the bottom of the ocean. Then another wise man said, well, let's put it in the sky. He said, no, one day man will have uh, rockets and planes and ships and all kind of things and, you know, uh, all type of devices that could go into orbit. And he would find it there. So the wisest of the three men said, well, let's put the mind of man within, within himself. He would never think to find his mind or himself within himself. And that's why you got to get in tune with yourself. You got to learn about your higher self and your lower self. You got to learn what ticks in both for these selves. You got to learn what makes you more confident and what makes you have a lack of confidence. These are the things that you must learn. You must learn them now. And you only can win if you know who you are. And who your forefathers were. You must have consciousness of self. You must know who you, where you came from and who your forefathers were. You must 
program your mind that I'm going to do it. I can, I can, I can, I can. And you got to believe this. And once you believe this, you can achieve this. You never give up. You always you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, believe in yourself. You always know that there's a higher self and a lower self. And always try to stay in your higher self and not in your lower self. You always got to understand that this self thing is a mind control thing. And you got to control your mind in order to control yourself. And once you can control your mind, then you can achieve things in leaps and bounds. You can be as successful as you want to be. You can be number one like you should be anyway. And you can achieve the things that people say that you can't, despite what people say about you, despite how people say you can't make it, despite how people try to lower your confidence. You keep that self-confidence until you achieve everything that you want. Don't let nobody stop you. You are unstoppable. You are the greatest. I'm telling you. I know this because God made only one you, therefore you are unique and you're going to achieve any and everything that you set forth to achieve. Believe me, take it from your man, take it from your man. Professor Ken, I know I have achieved things, man, that people thought, never thought I would achieve. Even after spending 10 years in prison, even after coming out here with no money, being broke, I had confidence in myself and I knew that I was going to achieve the things that I wanted to achieve. And make sure you get my new book right here. The 48 Laws of Game. Log on to hiphoppk.com. Get the game college. That's where I really teach real game. You got to go over there. I got the audio book. You can listen to the book. I got, I got everything. I want you to go over there and get that game. Thank you for listening. Have self-confidence. Believe in yourself. And don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it. And don't let your I can'ts control your I can'ts because you can. I can do it. Say that now. Write it down. And read it every day. I can. I am in control of myself, I believe in myself, and I am number one. Peace. HipHopPK.com. PK, I'm out.